Hey family, welcome back to my channel. For those that you don't know, this is Pat the Encourager. So welcome to my channel. You guys know what time it is. It is dinner time tonight. I am making me a steak. I have a thin porterhouse steak. I am going to add some red onions. I have some colorful peppers and I have some Bella mushrooms. So here you see I have my seasonings that I'm getting ready to use. We have our onion powder, lemon pepper, garlic powder, paprika, sea salt, and our Worcestershire sauce. It's time for me to get a new one. What I wanted to show tonight is that sometimes um, people tenderize their steaks. I know this is the way that I was taught the old way to tenderize your steak. So I want to talk to those that, um, that are new out there, uh, maybe new in the YouTube world, or maybe you don't have the updated things to moisturize your steak. You can take a fork or you can either use a knife. And all you have to do is to take it and just pinch, you know, just pinch in it. I've already washed it. As you can see, the steak is very fresh. So, you know, you could take your fork or your knife and, hey, you can just uh, pinch in it. Because you may not have the things, you know. I'm just trying to help those that, you know, we try to keep up and do those things. But I'm teaching you, hey, use what you have and do uh, whatever it is that you can do. So, I am going to add a little sea salt. If you guys uh, notice... I don't too much use seasoning salt. I might use this, but I don't actually use seasoning salt because I don't use too much salt. I'll use my garlic. This is paprika. This is my onion powder. But like I always teach everybody, this is a new uh, lemon pepper, guys. I'm just going to put this to the side. I had got the wrong one. I had brought a new one the other day. So this is some onion powder. So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna moisturize it again. So what I'm doing is just preparing it to cook. So once I season it and get it moisturized, I am going to tenderize, I meant to say, I am going to allow it to sit uh, in the refrigerator and allow the seasonings to settle on it so that that taste can be outstanding. Now you use whatever seasonings that are good for you. So I'm just gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce. And look, I'm just gonna pat it so that it can go down in there where I use the fork to tenderize it. We are gonna turn it over. I don't eat steak that often so I always get the thin ones all right guys so I'm allow this to sit um, for about 10 uh, 15 minutes in the refrigerator and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how I do my steak all right all right so we back so I added some butter and a little cooking spray uh, in here what I'm going to do is add my garlic uh, so I want it to cook a little bit so we're gonna add that in and let it get brown for a few minutes. And we're getting ready to get this show on the road. Because this pan is ready, it's smoking. So we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes, not long, because we're gonna put the steak in anyway, so we don't want our garlic to get burned, burned. So we're going to get ready and put our steak in. You hear it sizzling. So here's the steak. I took it out the refrigerator. I allowed it to sit. So we're going to take it. We're going to slide it on in there. And we're going to begin to let this baby cook, honey. So 
so we're going to let this steak just do its thing for a minute so we can get it seared on that one side. So how's everybody doing? Hope everybody is doing well out there. I'm glad to be with you guys as usual. What's happening, y'all? Y'all already know when it's dinner time, I got to invite y'all in. I'm so excited for the new family members. I'm excited, y'all, for us to just be able to keep pushing. You know, just keep pushing ourselves in spite of not, not allowing things to just the distractions and frustration uh, to bother us. So I really, really um, push each and every one of you. I love each and one, every one of you. Just hoping that you stay in the race. Stay in the race. Stay in this thing. You count too far. You have to realize that we've invested too much to give up now. We've come too far to give up now. In life period, in our relationships and things we're striving for. You know, even with our channel. Look, we've been hustling and busting our butts trying to make this thing uh, happen. And I just want to tell us to have patience with ourselves. I mentioned that before we have to have patience with ourselves when we're doing these type of things because you know sometimes the results don't come as fast you know we kind of look at other people's stuff and you know but don't compare yourself because you're you and they're them so be encouraged today so this baby just cooking i like mine well done i don't like it um burnt but I don't eat my steak like, you know, uh, medium well. I don't eat it like that in a uh, period. <laughs> like the kids say, period. I don't like my steak like that. So we're going to let it cook on the other side for a few minutes. And then what I'm going to do is put the steak to the side and we're going to make um, some homemade gravy, but also what I did, I brought some Heinz gravy because I like it. So I'm going to add this in my homemade gravy uh, that I make um, because I like the little taste that it gives it. So our steak is doing good, y'all. We in February already, ain't that something? It just seemed like we just hit 2021. It was January the 1st, and now, you know, hey, now it's what? February. So that's what I'm saying, y'all. We don't have time to waste. We got to get to our goals and do our thing and make this thing happen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the steak out. And I'm allow it uh, to sit because, of course, I'm going to uh, cook some more. All right, so let's let's make our um. I want to put the onions in first and let these onions just saute in there. I put a little vegetable in there, but we gonna let these onions saute in all its goodness. And just think about it. It's in that garlic, it's in that butter. So we just gonna let them cook for a minute, y'all. It ain't nothing like some good cooked onions. We gonna let those onions cook for a few minutes and allow them to get brown. Then I'm gonna add the rest of the vegetables. So I'll take them for a minute. And then we're going to add our flour and our water to build our gravy. Y'all, I love onions on my steak. Yeah, come on. Oh, y'all can see this goodness. I'm going to let these onions cook for a few more minutes. 
I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it good. get those mushrooms cooked. It's going to be good, y'all. I think I want to add a little, 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 little um, more butter. And you know, guys, hey, if you need to adjust your meal, do it. I'm going to add a little bit more butter up in there. the saute for a minute. We're going to allow that to cook for a minute. Just, just look at it. Beautiful. Sorry, y'all. Look at dropping a fork. But look at that. Just, just beautiful. Ready, ready, ready. Hey, we just allowing that to do its thing. I want to make sure of these peppers are sauteed. These mushrooms. All right. So, what we're going to do now... Let's just add a little flour. And then you add flour according to how thick you want it. So I'll put uh, probably a like um, three tablespoons in there. Yeah, I know I have to wipe as I go. It's just something I do. So I'm allow that to sit for a second as a brown. Oh, this is gonna be good. Just gonna add some cold water. And we're gonna stir. And so as we add our cold water in, stirring, and you will begin to see it getting brown. And that's from all the goodies from sauteing the vegetables and adding the flour in. didn't do as much flour as I, uh, I'm not flour, but gravy as I could because I'm going to add, you don't want it to be lumpy unless that's just the way you like it. So, you know, you might have to add more water in it, but just keep stirring it. Okay, so we're going to allow that uh, to simmer for a minute. looking good too and so then what I'm doing is I'm adding a little gravy because that's the way I like it y'all because I like mushroom gravy 
So I already got the homemade mushrooms in there. So I'm just gonna stir it. Like I say, stir it to your liking. If you don't want it thick, add more water. Okay, so here's the part that we're going to add. This is the way I'm making my steak tonight. So I'm going to put it in the gravy. Let it soak on that side. Holding this plate in my hand. And then we're just going to, yep. Alright, so guys that's what we're going to do so we're going to allow it to saute and to cook i'm going to put a top on it and i'll probably allow it to saute in the gravy um probably about 30 minutes because i want it to be good and tender so i will be back We put the top on it. I will be back. Okay, everybody, this is our finishing touches. I'm getting ready to make my plate. And hey, I want the vegetables on top. Let me take them and put them on top. You know, I didn't cook all the mushrooms or nothing. Just gonna add a little bit on top of here. Then we're going to just add a little gravy. Uh, the skillet is uh, a little dripping now. Y'all know I gotta get it. So I made a little rice. I'm just gonna add a little rice to my gravy. Add a little gravy to my rice. I'm so hungry, I'm talking backwards. But guys, that is it for the video. I am so excited, guys, once again, for you guys to come back. I'm gonna add a little Parmesan cheese. As y'all see, I love this. So I'm sprinkling a little bit on the corn. Add a little something up to the corn. So we're just going to sprinkle a little parsley on our steak, on our corn. And we just go, you know, do a little something, something with it. So this is my dinner. Look at that steak. So sometimes you won't spot the steak. Sometimes I like it the regular way. Where I cook it and, hey, I use steak sauce on it. But this is what we have here. So, as usual, thank you everybody for coming to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, why don't you make today your day? Don't forget, hit the bell notification. Listen, like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. Share these videos. All right, guys, this is your girl, Pat the Encourager. Thank you so much for coming, spending time with me, and watching my videos. Until next time, I love each and every one of you. God bless you all. I'm turning this stick around for y'all to see it again. Love you guys. Bye-bye.